Hey guys, we are talking transformations today, which is different ways that shapes can move within the coordinate plane. Now in this video, we're talking specifically about rotations. If you need some different transformations, I will link a playlist for you in the corner. Okay, but we are going to rotate this. Now for this video, we are going to rotate using the rules. This is not the only way to rotate a shape, so I will link another video for you in the corner where I talk about two other ways that you could do this problem and also where it explains why these rules work because I don't love to just give you rules and not tell you why they work. So that will be in there as well. But when we are rotating a shape 180 degrees, all we have to do is find our original points, our original coordinates, and change the signs of X and Y. That will give us this same shape rotated 180 degrees, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. What I'm gonna do is find these points and then change their signs. I'm gonna put that here as a little reminder. All right, so first of all, I'm gonna find these points. Okay, there are all of those points. Now all I'm going to do is change their signs. So here where two is negative and four is positive, I'm going to make two positive and four negative. Okay, this one as well, I'm gonna make the two positive, the seven negative, seven positive, nine negative, nine positive, two negative. So I just switched all their signs. Now watch what happens when I graph this. Okay, there we go. Does that look pretty good? So does that look like we took that shape and rotated it 180 degrees? I think so. Now, there is always a way that we can check ourselves, which we like in math. So what I'm gonna do is use this parchment paper. This is legitimately like paper from my kitchen that if you're making cookies, you can put it on. And we like it, cause look at that. It's like see-through-y, that's a word. So what I'm gonna do first is mark the plane here so that I know how far to turn it, okay? Then again, this is optional just if you like to do things like this and check your answers. So here we go. I'm going to mark this shape. There we go. So I know that 180 degrees is going to be like one turn like that is 90. And then another turn like that, or rotation I should say, is like that. And look how beautifully that lines up. All right, so I feel like that helps us feel like we were right and helps us know why those rules work. All right, all right, hopefully that was helpful, thanks. 